guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Myra. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And today I am going to show you guys how I make Jolly Rancher hearts with tahine. Plus, we're going to do a filling, so I hope that you guys enjoy, and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to start this recipe is going to be our mold, and I have this small diamond ones. There's six of them. They're geometric hearts, and they are so beautiful. I link everything that I use down below in my description box in case you're looking for anything. These are really tiny, but I do have the larger ones. And what I love about these ones is that these actually keep their form a little bit better than the big one. I did the original one in the larger form, and I know I got a few questions um, in regards to keeping their shape. So hopefully I can add a few tips in here. And you're also going to need some Jolly Ranchers. Make sure that when you get the Jolly Ranchers, they say hard candy. And I'm going to start by separating this by flavors. They have blue raspberry, green apple, cherry, grape, and watermelon. Last time I used watermelon and strawberry for my original larger Jolly Rancher. I will also link that for you guys in case you're interested in watching how I did that one. It's really easy just like this one. And if you guys don't have Jolly Ranchers or you can find them, you could use any type of hard candy as long as you stick with one flavor. This recipe will come out. And you're also going to need some tahine. We're also going to be using some corn syrup. This is the brand that I am using and you can use any kind that you have on hand. Some sugar and some water. One tablespoon of corn syrup, half a tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of water, and one tablespoon of tahine. And I've been making these hearts for quite some time, so I started using this candy thermometer a while back, and I let mine reach a temperature of 250, which says firm ball on there, and this helps them keep their shape. I also keep my heat at low the whole time that this is cooking to prevent them from burning. The first ingredient that I always add to my Jolly Ranchers is corn syrup and I try to make sure they all get a little bit of it. And once I notice my candy is melting, I add my candy thermometer. I also wanted to point out that if you add a lot of tahine, this will be bitter and sour, so you want to be careful not to add too much. And once my candy has reached a temperature of 250, I remove it from the stove. Another tip that I can give you guys is to use a spatula when making these, especially for the small ones. I found this really tiny spatula and it gets into all of the corners. It makes it really easy and super easy to clean too. And if any of your candy drizzled like mine did, this is a time to fix it. It's really easy. You can get a napkin, wet it, and then just go over all of the corners. I even pushed some of the candy in because it wasn't super hard. This way they come out beautiful. For this next step, I went ahead and laid everything out that we will be needing. So I'm going to use Lucas candies. These are called salsa gettis. And I'm also using Miguelito. If you don't have it, you can use tajin and pulparindo candy. And if you guys do this for a small business, this is the perfect time to get some of this Easter grass. They have a variety of colors and they're really beautiful. You usually don't get these year round. I also have a few treat boxes and I'm going to show you how I set everything up. And I have my strawberries clean and washed. I am going to do them a little bit different this time to give you a few more ideas of how you can do these. And they are still a little bit wet. I did try to choose the nicest ones that I could find. And I'm just going to take a napkin and dry those off. The reason you want to dry these off is because 
nothing will stick and they will be sweaty and soggy if you don't do this step so please make sure you do this so your strawberries come out looking nice and if you noticed in my bowl I do have one of these um, like fruit spoons which are the ones that they use to make the fruit round and I want to use these for my strawberries so I'm going to take my strawberry and I'm going to just go around in a circle And this is how your strawberry should look. Make sure not to scrape too much of the corners so you don't make it too thin. And make sure to cut this nicely if you want to reuse it. And I will show you how to do that. I'm going to take some Luque Salsa Gettys and I'm going to stuff these in my strawberries. And this is what they look like in case you have never seen these before. And I'm only going to be doing four, so I am trying to use all of my candy, but you could definitely get six strawberries with one candy. So now I'm going to be taking a little bowl and I'm going to be using just very little water. And taking a little bit of that water. And then this is just by dipping our thumbs. You don't need a lot of uh, water to do this. And then I'm going to overlap them just a little bit. And I feel like it's easier if you wrap these around like tacos. You kind of put the fold it like this and then fold it again. So I'll show you on here. So you kind of want to grab your strawberries, fold this one inside. So fold it and fold it again. Now that is how I wrap mine. And then again with very little of that water, go ahead and smooth out the edges. And when I fold these, I do it very carefully not to squish the strawberry you can either take some of your tajin or you can use some miguelito and then same thing with this one if you want to go ahead and like add what you took off i'm going to be adding some tajin to this one So I want to show you, your strawberries cannot be soggy at all for this to work. You do have to have nice strawberries because once you try to push it, like you're going to get all this and that's going to make them, well, even more soggier than they are and it's not going to help the pulparindo stick. So make sure that you use nice strawberries for this. And then I have my hearts and I think I'm only going to be taking two out to show you and as you can see it's really easy to remove there's no science to it Now if you want to, you could take a little bit more of those Luca candies that we just used. And then I'm just taking like three little, um, three little strings.
and this is what the strawberry looks like after I bit into it and it is absolutely delicious I think by far this is my favorite strawberry I really hope that I have inspired some of you and if you guys try any of my recipes don't forget to let me know or if you have any questions I'll be glad to answer them for you and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one Thank you.